present the trophies tonight, so that'll yep. be cool. Yeah, absolutely. So, Mathers and Vine, the front row. The pup's got some work to do. He's got the five-time national New Zealand champ and multi-time polar ice champion Michael Kendall for company on the second row. The captain's in the house, Chris Singleton, with Charlie, the chairman of the boards, Brown. That's the front three rows. Lights are out, 25 laps of journey. Thanks for sticking with us, Brisbane. Let's pull the trigger on the TFH series here in Brisbane. Down into one and two, rip the lift time. Have a look at Kendall and Brown side by side. Kendall won't want to give this up. Oh, we got one around. The Bandit, what about the move from Kendall? He was going to thread the needle between Mathers and Vine just as the yellows come on. But the Bandit, Trev, unfortunately, facing the wrong way. Yeah, not a good thing for the Bandit. He will go to the back of the bus. Full restart for this feature race, though. Stuart and Jordan Mackay tucked in behind the first three rows. Great drive from Robbie Stewart tonight, the multi-time Queensland compact champion. Uh, Brett Thomas just saying they've changed everything electrical on the Caden Brown machine. And they just got their fingers crossed that they found that misfire. Well, let's hope so. He hasn't had the best of nights tonight. Looking to make up for it in the feature as we smash the firewall. One more time, keeping an eye on the V97. As they all fly in formation into turns one and two. Oh, the captain gives the Kiwi a big kiss. That allows him to get forward underneath the uh, V97 machine and goes from fourth to second, battling for the lead. And the Toyota powered Ian Brocher race pass cool chassis of Michael Kendall leads at the strike for the first time. Have a look at Brownie, the chairman of the boards. Throws the 11 to the top side and oh, it's yeah. banded again. The 81 machine, the GSA advanced oh. machining car. Oh, good to see you back in Speedway though, brother. Well done. 24 laps left to run in this one. Always great to catch up with the great man from TFH Hire. Brady Thomas in the house. Great series sponsor this time around for the midgets as we flick the firewall and Kendall is sideways as he comes under the tower. The cool chassis Toyota powered machine fires down the back straight. He's got Viney in hot pursuit. Caden Brown just tucked in behind him and again. Charlie Brown up the top side of the racetrack looking for some go forward in the Helltech 11. Making his own racetrack. Down the back straight. Everybody tucking up underneath the tail tanks. Oh, Stuart, something very weird. Got a little elbow from the 91 machine. Gathers it back up and keeps racing. We stay green on the racetrack. The leader, Kendall, fires away from Brown. Then we go back to Vine, Mathers. Brown, Charlie Brown again on the top side making up numbers. Mitchell Rock, slide job on the bottom of Lockie Poulter, did it beautifully. Watching Charlie Brown making every poster winner on the top of the racetrack. Gets around Jordan Mackay, he's now got the top five in his sights. Loses a little ground, coming out of two. And he will not come off the concrete. Charlie Brown putting on a show for the crowd. Kendall meantime, back in the number 35 machine, into turns one and two. He's got about a car and a half length over Caden Brown as they come out of four. Viney still settling down into third spot. We've got Nathan Mavis and the captain, Chris Singleton, runs out the top five. Charlie Brown still putting on the show for the crowd. The tail tank right up near the concrete. Rip of the whip gives the wall a smack. He'll never die wondering, the boy in the Haltech 11. The Kiwi across the line one more time. Mitchell Rook hanging on to this group at the moment. Jordan Mackay, Charlie Brown again on the top side, rip of the whip on the outside right. Gets up onto the tail tank now, the 41 of Mackay. Again, smacks the wall halfway through the 3-4 turn. 
gets the job done and moves up another spot. Michael Kendall puts a car between himself and Brown. Mitchell Rook and the RJR, number 34 machine, sitting on the bottom of the racetrack. Brown can't get it done underneath Scotty Jeans. This time he does, the B97 does it beautifully. Oh, we got one on its side. I think that, is that Charlie Brown? It looks like the 11. It is, it's Charlie Brown. Oh, he's been putting on the show for the crowd tonight. The Haltech 11 machine is on its side up there in turns three and four. And I've got to tell you, Mac, a few laps ago, he almost pitched it into the fence down in turns one and two. He was up against the cushion and it just bit on the right rear and pitched it towards the fence. And that's how he ended up being back a couple of spots. He climbs out, folks, make some noise for Charlie, the chairman of the boards, Brown. Putting on a show in Brisbane. Not the way he would have wanted to end of the night, but as you say, always putting on a show for the crowd up against the boards. He saw Jock Goodyear put it to good use in the sprint car feature, thought it might work for him for the Kiwi. That's the question. Yeah, but don't write the Wiley Fox off in third either. No. Darren Vine. The Mike Vine Turbo. Paulie Mack owned Craig Thompson sponsored number six machine. Let's kick the firewall, go racing one more time in the Midget Series. This time, Kendall runs on the bottom side. Everybody goes nose to tail. Sorting themselves out. Oh, another car up near the fence. I think that's Brendan Palmer. Does it beautifully in the brand new 43 machine. Now he's decided to bring it back to the bottom side. Everybody knows to tail. Let's follow the leader at the moment. Gibbsy goes to the top side of the Porsche powered number 16 of Matt O'Neill. Great little battle this one for fourth, fifth and sixth up on screen at the moment. Nathan Mathers, the captain Chris Singleton and the young Rook. Here comes Casey O'Connell. Rocky Bolger wants an invite as well, all of a sudden. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth getting interesting. The leader starting to stretch it out now in the 35 machine, Kendall. He's got about four or five car lengths. Over Brown as they come through one and two and down the back straight. Nine laps left to run this time in the 25 lap journey. Kendall, Brown, Fine, Mathers. Back to Singleton and Rook. Rook had a good look on the inside of the next gen 46 machine. Couldn't get it done, has another go. Down the back straight, Singleton. Almost slams the door in front of him. That's fine sideways, Trev. Oh, Darren Vine it is. Sideways down in turn number four, brings on the yellows. Lights go out. Do trust you've had a fantastic night at the Speedway, Brisbane. Do trust you've enjoyed it at home. We go green one more time, single file past the cone. And Viney, right from the back of the bus, throws it to the top side and tries to find some traction in the number six. Has he got enough laps to put a few more boards, a few more runs on the board? As Kendall across the stripe hangs on to another lap. Brown this time, only about a car and a half length behind. Mather's still hanging on a third spot. Singleton back there in fourth. Great drive, Casey O'Connell in the top five. Rory Stewart, Lockie Polger, Brendan Palmer, welcome back to Speedway. Inside the top ten. Kendall stretching the legs of the Toyota powered cool chassis. Battle for second and third on the racetrack. Caden Brown and Nathan Mathers. Wouldn't Nathan love to beat the ex Australian champion? Everybody just touching the brakes a little bit, slowing the cars up through the bottom three, four turn. 
Palmer now goes to the top. Three wide as they go through turns one and two. The brand new 43 machine. Looking for a little go forward. Three laps to run next time by. And the Kiwi doing it beautifully. Three to run, Trev, bring him home. Kendall out of turn four on the gas. Just drifts it nice down the front straight. Brown holding over Mathers. Singleton, young job. Great job by young Casey O'Connell. Polger's got them all backed up behind him. He got Robbie Stewart. He's now got a move on the inside by young Mitchell Rook. Rook, like Rook moves up a spot. Puts Stewart back a position. That's Brendan Palmer. Darren Bryant trying to find a way past Reed McCoy. Cal Watmore Jr. Gibbs and Matty O'Neill rounds out the field. White flag out, one to go. Michael Kendall, Ian Botcher race parts. Toyota powered cool chassis machine has led from the start, has not looked back, and through turn three and four for the last time, and Kendall will take the checkered flag and the race win in round seven of the TF8 series. Caden Brown home in for second spot from Nathan Mathers, and it's Chris Singleton, Casey O'Connell, Polger, Rook, further back to Palmer, Stewart, Mackay, Vine, Watmore Jr., Gibbs and O'Neill rounds out the finishes. Ah, oh, great drive from the multi-time New Zealand champion and polarised champion here in Australia. Put your hands together, Brisbane, for round seven winner of the temporary fence higher series in Michael Kendall. Caden Brown, just not enough for the Ian Botcher race parts machine tonight. And a great drive home in third place for Nathan Mathers as Kendall pulls up. The IBRP machine. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, he climbs out, makes some noise for the Kiwi, Michael Kendall. Doing it beautifully, home in third place, and we'll bring him straight up for the presentation as he climbs out of the insane tattoos, number 18 machine. Great drive from the pup to get home for second place. We'll wait for him to grab his helmet off. Brother. Well, Brisbane, do hope you've had a fantastic night at the Speedway. We're back to do it again on the 27th and, of course, next Saturday night up on the mountain. Please join us in Toowoomba. We look forward to seeing you up there. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for third place, Nathan Mathers. Oh, brother, congratulations. What a battle that was. Yeah, yeah, it was a hard race, tough track. It's super slick, so, yeah, it was good fun, eh? Mate, let's thank everybody involved in that beautiful motor car. Yeah, first of all, I want to thank uh, the crew, uh, Brendan Palmer Racing. He helped us out heaps with this car. Um, Inksane Tattoos, uh, FK Shocks, Carbon Craft, all them guys that do it. Men at Work Exhaust, um, my daughter, Ruby, and family that come out and support. Thanks a lot. Good on you, mate. Always great to catch up on the podium. Well done. Home in third, Nathan Mathers. In second place tonight, Brisbane, put your hands together for Caden Brown. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Mate, uh, tough night in the office chasing that, uh, that miss. Uh, Bretto said to us that uh, before the feature, you changed pretty much everything electrical you could find. Uh, how was it? Uh, obviously, the night started off well, quick time, and then in that first heat, we started having a little issue that uh, I feel like I've, I felt that issue many times um, over the last couple of years. It's nearly happened. Uh, every race, we just had a uh, bad luck cloud under our, under our heads, and... Uh, we changed the two things that we thought it was and the issue just kept getting worse and worse and um, changed some stuff and uh, got worse, got worse and we're ready to give up but I uh, don't know, everyone just put in such a big effort. My dad, Brett Thomas, Diesel Thomas, Josh Thomas, uh, obviously they're my number one supporter in TFH and to have them here and working super hard to get us back out onto the, tr out onto the track is super special and um, 
Michael Harders and everyone else, Darren Vine and his crew that come out and help. And uh, it's just, uh, it's such a, a big family speedway. And uh, without everyone that come over and offered parts, Dean Meadows, he gave us a ton of parts to, to use. And um, everyone else, we wouldn't be here. And um, just pity we couldn't get the win. Uh, struggled a tiny bit. Obviously, Michael was really good. And uh, congrats to Nathan on his podium too. So we'll come back bigger and stronger. And hopefully these, these problems don't come back. Congratulations on second place, mate. Look, uh, look forward to seeing you back here soon. Uh, thank you very much. Obviously, I'd like to thank all my sponsors. TFH, Fine Line Fabrications, Carbon Concepts, uh, United Truck Parts, the Sprint Shack for Awesome Shocks, King Shazzy, CRC, Ronda Lee Metal Fabrication, and uh, Dunn Garage, and anyone else I forgot. I, I'm sorry, but uh, it's really cool to get this second place after the night we've had. It's, uh, it's good to see how, how resilient we are and how, much we get, and how hard we can work to get this thing back in track and still perform. It's really cool. Well done, mate. There he is. The man who wears his heart in his sleeve. Well, Brisbane, he is the benchmark when it comes to midget racing here in Brisbane. Make some noise for the flying peewee, Michael Kendall. Oh, Michael, what a great honour to grab the trophy off of that man and uh, to beat this young man. Gee whiz, uh, when you know you're knocking Brownie off, you know you're having a good race. Yeah, and, you know, to be honest, I didn't know if we had a car that was going to be good on that track or not. It's the first time... Um, really run this car on a super slick track. There was, wasn't anything to get hold of, but um, once we got to the front, I just sort of held my line and, and hoped that it was good enough to... Um, I knew Caden was behind me, and, and I didn't know where he was or where he was going, so I just had to keep my line and, and uh, try and try and keep my head down and hit the marks, you know. So managed to do that, and, you know, I've got to say a big thank you to Ian Botcher and uh, all the Botcher race team. But, you know, they've worked hard to get this car um, to where it is, and I'm glad now that we can start getting some results. That's three in a row now, so... Uh, long may it continue on and just got to thank all my crew guys um, Dave, Sue, Brian everyone, anyone who might have forgotten um, for the big effort they put in tonight um, the heats we struggled a little bit wasn't really where I wanted to be but um, we came good in the feature and that's the main thing and not only did you get the win tonight mate you take home the Bobby Baker 500 bucks as well Oh, that's awesome. Can't get better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, congratulations on a fantastic drive. As we say, you are the benchmark here when it comes to midget racing. There's no one better uh, around this place, certainly in one of these things. Mate, congratulations on the win. And uh, great to see Nathan up on the podium as well. Yeah, like when he qualified first, I was like, well, Nathan's had a really good night. And it's good to see guys like Nathan um, coming through and, and um, getting up, up there and, and running with the front guys. So, um, yeah, big ups to him and uh, everyone else that's on the podium. Well done, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for your winner, Michael Kendall, in your top three places in the TFH Midget Series.